Jay and today I'll be creating a natural shimmery eye and I'll be using two of my favorite palettes the Too Faced Natural Eyes and the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette so these will, will be the stars of the show today and first things first let's sanitize our hands And then next, I'm going to prime my face. I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs primer, which is like beaten up and very loved, as you can see. It's funny, I kind of just, it's one of the products that I just bought to buy and I used it so much. I didn't think I was going to use it at all, but I didn't realize how much I used it. And now I'm like, should I buy another one? I don't know. Hopefully the product will tell me what to do. The product will probably just tell me, buy me, buy me. Whatever. So next I'm going to put on a little foundation. I'm going to take this Hourglass Vanish Stick, foundation stick. And I'm just going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills Kabuki brush in A30. And I'm just going to apply a little bit on, not that much, just for a little bit more coverage, just to cover up little spots and specks. Just all that stuff you don't want anyone to really see. on I'm going to conceal I'm going to take my Kevin Kwan supernatural concealer I always have trouble opening things I'm just going to put some I need a little extra help Underneath the eyes, of course. I end up putting a little bit everywhere. <laughs> Everyone could always use a little help, though. I want to put a little bit on the eyelids for a little bit of an eyeshadow base. Just like that. So I'm going to lay off my face for a little bit. I'm just going to let it air dry. <laughs> and I'm going to go to my eyes. So first things first, I'm going to set them with the Marc Jacobs powder. I'm just using this Morphe brush to set that in. And then I'm going to go in to the palettes. So I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Natural Eyes. And it's so beautiful. Look at those shades. Start off, I'm going to go in with Push Up, which is that shade right there. I'm just going to set it in the center of my lid and a little bit in the inner corner. And it smells heavenly. 
I think I read that they infuse coconut in here. Jared and Jeremy are famous for injecting beautifully scented things like their chocolate palettes and their chocolate bronzers. It just smells amazing. So after I put push up all over my lid, I'm going to go into the natural matte palette. And these are all matte. So I'm going to go into um, less is more. That shade right there. I'm just going to use it to warm up my crease. Give some definition to it. brush like that and I'm going to go in with a mixture of erotic and sexpresso so sexpresso is matte and then erot erotic has a little shimmer in it so I'm just going to take a mixture of both and I'm just going to gently press it in the inner corner and then just add a little bit. I'm just going to add it here now and then I'm gonna go back and blend it. But at the very corner, the very end of the corner like that. And I'm going to take a big fluffy plain brush and then I'm just going to blend that out. Just like that. Then I'm going to go back to the smudgy brush and then I'm going to take the same shades and I'm just going to, actually I'm going to take um, this angle brush. I think it's um, an eyeliner brush, but I'm going to use it for this and I'm going to go into Sexpresso and Erotic and I'm just going to kind of line the waterline. You can use a smudgy brush, but I don't want it to look like I'm a raccoon. So I feel like this gives me a little bit more control and I'm gonna stop like right at the end. Not the end, the middle, like the beginning of the middle of my eyeball. Just like that, it looks like a little eyeliner. Looks nice and pretty. And then in the inner corner of the eye, I'm just going to, um, there's like a little brush. I guess it's this one. I'm going to take Honey Pot. I'm just going to pop in a little shimmer. like that. So I'm going to take a break from my eyelids right now and I'm going to work on my brows. For brows today I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Definer which wasn't closed properly <laughs> and I'm just going to work on my brows. Actually I think I'm going to do my brows off camera because I can take a little long so I'll see you in a bit. Okay and I'm back with brows so I'm going to go back into this natural eyes palette and I just want to add a little shimmer 
on the bridge of my, not the bridge, my brow bone. And I'm just going to take a little bit of Heaven, which is just a plain white shade. Perfect. So next, I'm still gonna take a break from my eyes. I'm gonna move on to the rest of my face. I'm going to contour a little bit. So I'm going to take this Huda Beauty um, Tan Tour and I'm using the shade Medium, looks like that. And basically I'm just going to draw on a little bit of lines. I'm just going to pop on just two lines like that. And then I'm going to take a brush, not a brush, I'm gonna take a sponge. I feel like it's easier to blend out the creaminess with a sponge. But if you prefer brushes, you can do brushes as well. And just blends out. Nice and easy. Perfect. Nice, easy definition, nothing too crazy. So now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring on my nose. I'm going to take this Jouer high coverage concealer pen. Yes, this is a concealer, but I'm gonna be using it for contouring. So I'm basically just going to draw the skinniest lines that I can, like that. And then, just like that. Notice how I didn't go all the way down because this product will carry itself all the way down. So I don't need to go all the way down like that. And if I did go all the way down, then it would have been too much product and I would have looked crazy. So I'm gonna take this Morphe flat brush. I'm just gonna use it to gently blend it in. See how easily it just blends out? Nice and creamy. Nothing too crazy. If you have difficulties contouring your nose, I highly, highly suggest this. It's affordable from what I can remember. I don't really remember prices on everything, but I do remember it being affordable. And you can also use it as a concealer if you like, but you see how easily it just blends out. And now I'm going to add some blush. I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Seduce Blush. And this is a creamy blush. Looks like this. Technically this is a highlight and this is the blush, but I'm going to be using a mixture of both because I like how both of them look together. And I'm going to take this Morphe Y2 brush. So I'm just gonna swirl it around like that on my brush and just add some rosiness to my cheeks. Perfect. Next, I'm going to go back to my eyes. I'm going to take my Surratt Eyelash Curler, of course, what else? Get as close as I can. Slight pinch. Open. Slight pinch. Open. And then I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs mascara, one of my all-time favorites. And I'm going to add some nice coats.
going to try to put some on my lower lashes. How many times do I say perfect in a video? I have no idea. So now I'm going to powder my face a little bit more. The Marc Jacobs. Just a little bit. So I don't get like a shiny forehead. Set in that contour. Now I'm gonna move on to a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to be taking the Marc Jacobs, excuse me, this is not Marc Jacobs, this is Tom Ford Radiant Perfecting Powder and Luna. Looks like this. Very shimmery. It's going to add some to my cheekbones. Down, keep it spell down my nose. And last but not least, lips. So for lips today, I'm gonna to be taking the Melt Cosmetics Lip Liner in Foxy. And I'm going to line my lips. This is kind of like a nudie brown. And then we'll just leave it there. Clearly wants to be there. I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs in Dream Girl. I'm just going to Add it on and then on top I'm going to put this Dior Stellar Gloss and Jador looks like this I'm just going to apply it right on top like a little glossy finish so this is your finished look. I hope you enjoy getting a beautiful, shimmery, natural eye with me. Shout out to Too Faced for creating these beautiful, beautiful palettes. These palettes are so versatile. You can do day to night looks, simple every day, whatever looks you could possibly want, you can do with those palettes. So I highly, highly recommend those. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below any suggestions that you have for me. Thank you.